Hello, everybody. The greatest fear in every person's life is probably being in an accident or losing a loved one in a crash. And in fact, there is nothing scarier in the world. However, don't forget that even in such sad situations, there's still a chance for miracles. Sometimes people who find themselves in a desperate situation come out of it even happier than before. And sometimes, even with new talents. Today, we're going to tell you about 8 lucky people who got brilliant skills as a result of an accident. Let's get it on! Anthony Sicoria Being struck by lightning isn't as rare as it seems at first glance. About 8 million lightning bolts strike the Earth every day. The possibility of being a victim of this natural phenomenon at least once in a lifetime, for example in the United States, is about 1 in 5,000. Fortunately, only 10% of such cases end tragically. This man not only survived after being struck by lightning, but also acquired a musical gift in a mystical way. 25 years ago, in 1994, when smartphones only existed in science fiction books, Anthony was making a call from a payphone. Suddenly, he was struck by lightning. The discharge came out through the phone and hit the poor man in the face. He immediately lost consciousness and fell on his back. What happened next is a series of paranormal events, worthy of a great TV show. Anthony found himself in a luminous place where he felt the most pleasant and calming sensation of his life. As you may have guessed, all this happened while his body was in a state of clinical death. Fortunately, the doctors managed to save him, but the story doesn't end there. After the incident, Tony, who had worked all his life as an orthopedic surgeon, suddenly became interested in piano music. Although he had always been a man of science and had never been interested in any creative activities, shortly thereafter, he dreamt that he played the piano on stage. Tony mysteriously learned the melody of his dreams, sat on the piano and just played it without knowing a single note. Later, of course, he learned all the musical notes and subtleties of musical theory, and today he performs all over the world, solo or accompanied by an orchestra. In his concerts, Anthony performs classical compositions, as well as his own creations, including the Lightning Sonata that came to him in a dream. Jason Paget. This guy never had any outstanding skills, he got low to average grades in school, and didn't like exact sciences very much. Things changed one night in 2002. Jason and his girlfriend were leaving a karaoke bar when he was suddenly attacked and robbed. As a result of the incident, he got a severe concussion. Jason had to spend some time in the hospital to rehabilitate and, at first glance, nothing had changed in his life. But after he was discharged, he began to notice some changes. Unexpectedly, the guy discovered that he perceived the reality around him in a completely new and strange way. Jason began drawing intricate figures, and only after a while, he realized that they were not doodles, but fractals and graphs of functions. It was then that Jason realized that he had discovered an unknown talent. At first, however, he didn't quite know how to use his new skills. Lie! Up, up, and away, Web! Shazam! Go! Go! Go, Web, go! Until one day, his daughter asked him how TVs work. So, Jason wondered, what if his visions were really an explanation of the order of things in the universe? It turned out that was the case. According to neuroscientists, what happened to Jason can be explained by the fact that the blow to the head caused a special reaction in the brain. As a result of the trauma, this organ suffered overcompensation in areas that are responsible for mathematical skills and mental images. This phenomenon is known as Savant Syndrome and is very rare. Ben McMahon Anyone who has tried to learn a foreign language knows how much effort it takes to start speaking at least at a basic level. Goose from a goose blah, blah, blah. Not, not, not blah, blah. Goose, goose from a goose from a. Not to mention Asian languages, which require much more time and effort. <laughs> Don't <laughs> 
Did you know, for example, that there are at least 50,000 characters in the Chinese language? But this guy from Australia didn't have to spend a day studying Mandarin, the most common dialect of Chinese. Well, almost. The story is as follows. Ben was involved in a terrible car accident. After the crash, he was in a coma for a week. When he finally woke up, it turned out that the only language he could speak was Chinese. At the same time, Ben admits that he had learned a little Chinese in school, but never mastered it. But what's the explanation? The areas of the brain responsible for language skills are believed to be in the front of the left hemisphere, to be more precise, in the BRCA area. And apparently, that part of Ben's brain was affected by the accident. Eventually, Ben began to remember English and was worried about losing his knowledge of Chinese. But even then, something incredible happened. He started speaking both languages like a native speaker. Today, he even runs his own show in Chinese and works with Chinese tourists. John Sarkin 30 years ago, John Sarkin was living a very normal life in the US, raising his son and doing manual therapy. The only problem was his health. He suffered from tinnitus and hyperacusis. In simple words, a ringing in his ears and hypersensitivity to certain sound frequencies. These conditions tormented John so much that one day, he decided to undergo surgery to get rid of them. Unfortunately, the operation was unsuccessful and caused a brain hemorrhage, forcing doctors to remove a small part of the brain tissue. When John finally woke up, it turned out he possessed a special gift. The man began to have surreal dreams that he immediately wanted to capture on canvas. He became so obsessed with his new passion that he even gave up his old job, and success was right around the corner. Sarkin's brilliant work quickly took a liking among the public, and his story told by the world's media made him even more popular. Since then, his paintings have been exhibited in galleries around the globe and sold for thousands of dollars. Alonzo Clemens when Alonzo was a young boy and still in school, he suffered a serious head injury. At first, it seemed that this had ruined the boy's life. He forgot how to read, count, or write, and his IQ did not exceed 40 or 50 points. Soon, however, Alonzo discovered another talent that did not require any knowledge of mathematics or spelling. It turned out that Alonzo had become a very talented sculptor. At first, he would mold animals in the back of the classroom, and after graduating from school, he decided to devote himself to sculpture professionally. As a result, his skill has reached an unprecedented level, and today he can make a figure of any animal in a couple of hours after seeing only a glimpse of it. By the way, his case may also be an acquired savant syndrome. Derek Amato in the case of this person, a terrible accident 13 years ago led him to a career in the world of professional jazz. It all happened on October 27, 2006. Derek was resting by the pool with his friends, enjoying a barbecue and playing football, and there was no sign of trouble. At one point, however, the man fell into the water and hit his head hard against the bottom. When his friends brought Derek to the surface, he was unconscious, and his ears were bleeding. The result was a severe concussion, partial memory loss, and 35% hearing loss. It took Derek a few tedious weeks to recover. Shortly after being discharged, he saw a small synthesizer at a friend's house and felt an overwhelming desire to play it. And although before the injury the man could barely play a couple of chords on the guitar, at that moment, he suddenly began to skillfully play a beautiful melody on the keyboard. So, suddenly, his music career began. Today, Derek is a world-famous jazz musician and composer. Please welcome Derek and Mandy. Right. Lee Ersig Lee spent most of her life on her ranch in Colorado, and until 2009, her life was nothing special. Everything changed because of an accident. Ten years ago, the woman fell into a ravine while feeding the chickens and suffered serious injuries to her head and spine. Fortunately, the back injuries were not so severe, and Lee recovered quickly, but the brain injuries were more serious. She didn't remember her childhood, almost stopped feeling emotions, and soon realized that she didn't see the world as before. Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? All this due to synesthesia, a neurological phenomenon in which irritation of one sensory organ causes feelings that correspond to another sensory organ. It means that a person can see sounds, taste, and smell different colors. By the way, Lady Gaga, Pharrell Williams, and Billie Eilish suffer from this syndrome as well. 
but those weren't all the changes in Lee's life. Suddenly, she discovered skills in math, poetry, and fine arts because of the savant syndrome we've already mentioned. Today, she lives on her ranch in Colorado, dedicating her life to her work. In addition, Lee runs several support groups for people who have suffered head injuries. Rory Curtis until 2014, he was a normal, healthy British man whose life focused on his favorite pastime, football. But well, one day, he had a terrible car accident. Rory crashed his car into a truck. The accident was so brutal that rescuers couldn't get him out of the car for more than half an hour. The 22-year-old was in a coma for two weeks and woke up in Birmingham as a completely different person. Rory, who only studied French in high school, suddenly turned out to be a francophone. Tu te pas comment? Je m'appelle Rory. Santé. He spoke French so fluently that an employee at the hospital asked him where he was from, except that Rory and his family spent their entire lives in the UK and had never even been to France. But that's not all. For some reason, Rory was sure he was Hollywood actor Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> He kept talking about shootings, roles, new contracts. Apparently, that happened British doctors treated him with an innovative but previously untested medicine. Luckily, two months later, the guy's head returned to normal. Rory remembered who he really was, while his French remained at a fairly high level. Of course, after such a serious injury, he could not continue his career as a professional football player. But Rory found a new hobby, hairdressing. Now he plans on opening his own barbershop. 